Hello, let's do this problem here. We've got Barbara as a producer in a monopoly industry. Her demand curve is given. Her total revenue curve is given. Her marginal revenue curve is given. Total cost curve is given. And they've already derived marginal costs. In case you get one where they haven't, uh, what you do, so this is demand and total revenue will always be price times quantity. So what they did was they rearranged this function so that uh, P is on the left side. So they, it's called an inverse demand curve. So they sent P over there uh, and they got 40 um, minus 1 fourth Q. This is how they did that. Okay, so then they multiplied everything here by Q and that gave them total revenue. To get the marginal revenue function, they just took the partial derivative of this and got to here. Okay, so there's lots of examples on how to do that. Total cost is given here, and if you didn't have that, you could just take the partial derivative with respect to Q of that, and that's how they got uh, 4. Okay, so that's where all of those come from. Okay, so we need to know what the margin profit maximizing quantity is, and that is a fancy thing. I feel like I say that all the time. Uh, it's just the quantity where marginal cost equals marginal revenue. Since we know both of those, we can just set them equal to each other and solve for Q. So let's do that. So marginal cost is 4. And then marginal revenue is 40 minus 0.5Q. So we'll bring it to be 36, rather negative 36 equals negative 0.5Q. And then Q is, I think it's just going to be 72. Um, just to prove that, what we could do is just take your 36 and divide it by 0.5, which is the same as multiplying by 2, and we get 72. Okay, so quantity is 72. Okay, now the single price monopoly price, what we're going to do is we're going to take that quantity and we're going to plug it back into this uh, initial one. So you can use either one there. This will kick out the price. So I think it's a little easier to give us that one. So P equals 40 minus uh, 0.25 times 72. Uh, and so that's going to be 0.25 times 72 is 18. 40 minus 18 is 22. So our price is going to be 22. Okay. Profit or loss to Barbara. Okay. So we want our total revenue minus total cost. So in this case, our total revenue, we're going to sell 22, no, we're going to sell 72 units at $22 each. So we're going to make $1,584 minus the total cost, so it'll be 4 times Q, so 4 times 72 is 288, and that's going to give us a profit of 4 minus 288, 1296, 1296. That's our total profit. Okay, the consumer surplus is the difference between demand and the uh, price that they're going to pay. Okay, so it's it's really like a triangle if you were to imagine what the triangle would look like. So between the demand, so that's going to be here. It's a linear. Linear triangle. Here's price. Here's quantity. That probably does keep going, but whatever. Um, so this is 22, and wherever the start of the demand curve is, and we'll go down here to 72 units that they're going to purchase, and then uh, 
this is quantity zero. So one thing we can do is put in uh, quantity zero. So the most the consumers are willing to pay is 40. Okay, so this whole thing right here will be consumer surplus. So that triangle right there under the monopoly. So it's one half the difference here, which is 18 times the difference here, which is 72, 0 to 72. So it's 18, let's get that out of the way, 18 times 72, and then times, okay, let me make sure I didn't have something in the calculator there, 18 times 72, I was good, times 0.5, 648 is the consumer surplus. So 600, 648. Now, the dead weight loss is the difference between the competitive market and the, um, the monopoly market. So in the competitive market, price is going to equal the marginal cost of production like it is in a perfect competition situation. So, so this would be actually four. So now we're gonna we're gonna know that the dead weight loss is this big triangle right here. Okay. And I've already well I've already graphed this so we can just go into where I've graphed that. And so that's 144. So it'd be this triangle right here. So it'd be the difference between one. So it's 18 on the north end of the triangle, and then 72 out to 144, which is just 72. I think, let me just prove that, times 72. So the area of this triangle is going to look very familiar, and that's going to be 18 times 72 times 0.5, which is also 648 so that's that's the answer there 648 because this out here was i'll put that right here 144 so it's the difference here that's your that's your dead weight loss okay that's how to solve that